Hello and welcome to Kickstart. In this video, we are going to be adjusting our drawing template. And in this particular case, we are going to be adjusting our shop drawing layout so we can have our logo, for example, appear in our shop drawings. I am Ludwig from Markerbaum, and as usual, as I always say, and as I always will say, let's kickstart this video. Alrighty, and here we are back in Markerbaum Toolbox. And the very first step in adjusting our drawing template is actually finding where it's saved. Easy way to find where it's saved is by going to the help button over on our Markerbaum toolbar and selecting browse to factory data. From here, this will take you to where your Markerbaum library is saved. And we're gonna go to a specific folder and that is our drawing templates. Double click on that and you should see some DWT files. Now DWT is the specific format that AutoCAD and Toolbox use in order to use the drawing template. So these DWT files are what we're going to be adjusting. So right now we know where they're saved. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna to go to my file explorer up the top and I'm gonna right click and copy this link over here. The reason I'm doing that is because we need to open our DWT in order to save it back through the Markerbaum interface itself. So to do that, we're gonna go straight to the top left to our Markerbaum logo and we're gonna to go to open. And from here, we're gonna get this interface up here. And the first thing we wanna do is go to file type and switch that to DWT. So we need to look for that specific format. From there, we can then paste that file path that we created down below, hit open, and it'll take us to where our DWTs are saved. Now in this particular instance, I would like to adjust my metric annotative drawing template. Now it's from here that you can also rename the template if you want by simply right clicking and renaming your file. For now, I'm just gonna double click on it to open them up. And you can see up the top, it has opened that file up. Now, since in this particular instance, I would like to adjust my logo in my shop drawing layout. Our shop drawing layouts are straight down below over here. If I click on one of them down below, this is my shop drawing layout. And you can see where the Markerbaum logo is currently saved. Now, I would like to adjust that so I have something of my own inside this DWT file. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to click on the block that I would like to adjust. Next, I'm gonna type in bedit, which is a bit of an abbreviated form of block editor. Hit enter, other interface will pop up saying, yep, this is the block that you're going to be editing. So I'm going to hit okay. And now from here, it's taking me into the block editor. And this is where I can make adjustments to my block. Anything from adding in text, uh, anything from adding in logos or deleting things from the existing block. So we're gonna start off by getting rid of these guys here. I'm just gonna click on them and hit delete on my keyboard. Oop, couple more lines for me to go with and delete. Now I would like to attach my own logo or image into this block here. To do that, I'm simply gonna type in attach and enter. Now from here it's gonna take me to my file explorer and I've actually got an image in here waiting to be used. Now unfortunately, I don't really have a company logo that I personally use, so I'm gonna make do with a very flattering picture of my cat. So when you select that, it's going to give you a few options on how you'd like to attach this image into your block. One thing I'd like to do is I'd like to change the file path here to full path. And I would also like to make sure that my scale is something that I can specify on the screen. From there, I'm gonna go ahead and hit okay. Select where my image is gonna go, say this bottom corner over here. And now I can move my mouse to scale him up to whatever size I see fit. Something about yay big. And there she is in all her glory. Now from here, you can obviously use your AutoCAD commands to move them around. Now, you can see up the top, it's switched to my block editor on my ribbons, but I can go over to the home tab over here and access my other AutoCAD commands, including my move. Click on this image here, enter, go to specify base point, just on this corner here, and I'm gonna move him to a point that I would like. From there, we just need to close block editor. 
And to close your block editor, we just need to go to this tick box right over here and save change to company logo. And there you can see below is my updated block. I still got the border around here around my image. So what I can do is I can easily click back on it by clicking on that block again. Once again, going to be edit. Okay. And this time I'm just going to click on my border and delete. Once again, I'm going to go to block editor, save my changes. And there it is over there. Now, because I've changed this particular block and this block is used across all my shop drawing layouts, you can see all my other layouts now have that block in there as well. Now, what I would recommend that you do if you are adjusting your drawing template is have it, have it last set to how you'd like it to open when you access it again. So rather than have it zoom in like this, if you zoom in like this, save your template from here, what's gonna happen is the next time you open it, it's gonna zoom in to this as a default. So I'd recommend that before you leave the page, have it laid out as you would last like it to be seen. I'm gonna go to my model space because I would last like to have it seen from here. And all you have to do next to finish things off is save your DWT. And that's how we adjust our AutoCAD DWT or our drawing template. From here, when you open up a new room, it will prompt you to ask which template you would like to use. Simply select the one that you've edited and you're ready to rock and roll. As usual, thank you so much for watching this video. I am Ludwig from Marco Bellum, and as usual, take care and have a wonderful day.